Run, devil, run. You you going to make the old leg go out there and go bam like that with the camera. I hit my reflex I'm not spot even on my sure knee. we're in. Earthquake. Run, devil, run. everyone my name is Chad I am a Jesus follower and I am the pastor at Henderson General Baptist Church and I'm KK the PK yes and today we're going to talk about how to not act on temptations yes like I'm tempted right now to pull your hair Boop. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, Imagine me doing that to you. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. At the age of one and below, you did that to my hair. Wah, 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 all the time. All right? So, here we have for you 500 how-to steps to avoid temptation. It takes all five. I was not prepared for 500. We have enough time for 500, or you think maybe we should just cut that down to five? Yeah, take off the two zeros. That's take off the two zeros, carry the one, add the 14 minus the 17, <laughs> gives you plus a seven, plus one more, plus two more minus one, gives you five. That's all right. That's math for you today. And I have the temptation to smack him right now. Yes, but... <laughs> yes like the temptation that Bradley told me here not too long ago. Dad, I'm really tempted to smack you. I said, what's stopping you? Uh, yeah, he said, I need... he said, I'm too scared of you. <laughs> yeah. So, so here we go. Number one. I mean, number one out of the five. How do we not uh, act on temptation? That doesn't mean we're not going to be tempted. You can't stop temptation from happening in our life. It's going to happen in our life. But how do you not act on the, the temptation? Number one... Run, devil, run. You, you's going to make the old leg go out there and go bam like that with the camera. I hit my reflex I'm not spot even on my sure knee. we're in. Earthquake. Run, devil, run. How are you going to make the devil run? How do you make the devil run? Because ultimately in our life, temptation is something that Satan wants to give you to think his way is better than God's way. To me, I feel like the more you reject the temptations, the like, the more he'll give up, or the quicker he'll give up. Ah, uh, if that makes sense. I give you a scripture in James chapter four, verse seven. It reads this: "So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you." Resist the devil. And likely he's not going to just run the, after the first try. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. His job is to get you. But how am I going to resist the devil? How am I going to do that in the moment until I decide I have a bigger need of God than I do the temptation that is in front of me and I humble myself? Not that I can do this on my own. I cannot avoid the temptation by myself. I need God. So in this, number one, I have to humble myself before God. And the devil's not going to flee on my own self. Now, I'm just going to tell you now. I've been working out. Boom, 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 boom. You know, I, I'm Is not... Is that bump, bump necessary? Yes, yes. Yeah, you go like that. And I'm not giving it all to you. Right? It would fill the whole screen up if I did that. It'd be too much. But at this moment... If you find yourself in a temptation, know that you can't resist it by by discipline. You can't resist it by your own self self worthiness. It is about humbling yourself before God. And if you want the devil to run, you have to humble your life before God first. Number two. two. God will provide an escape. Ah, I like that. Sometimes do we look for the escape? No. No. How is he going to provide the escape? The temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. 
You're not alone in that temptation, the Bible says. You're not the first one and you're not the last one to be tempted with whatever you're being tempted with. Plenty of people say there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. Except for I think maybe God, when he made me, said that's enough for planet Earth at one time. Wait till he's gone before we make another one like that. I don't know that that's true. But the Bible goes on and says, and God is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than what you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. God will provide an escape. And this kind of makes me think about the movie Alice in Wonderland. Like, she's really big and she's trying to get through this tiny little door. And she's just like, how am I supposed to get through this door? And she's trying to get through this door on her own. And then she finally figures out that there's that little cake or drink or whatever it was that made uh-huh. her smaller. And that was like her escape to get to get out that door. Yes, double stuffed Oreo cookies. You eat them and you get smaller. I mean, that's just how I know that, that it works. Logic. Logic tells me that. Yeah. Number three. First, run, double run. You gotta get you gotta humble yourself before God. Number two, you got to make sure that God provides an escape for you and use that escape. Number three. You have to remember that it is not a sin to have a temptation. Mm-mm. Because a wise man once said, crap is going to be thrown at you, but it's your job to turn it into fertilizer. So there's going to be stuff that is going to be thrown. Who was that wise man? Eric Thomas. Oh, my word. Cop, cop. <laughs> not to, not I mean, to call you out. But. Here's what I know. Jesus was tempted three times, and yet he did not sin. So I'm going to go with Jesus <laughs> and this one and know that if he was tempted and he didn't sin, that means I can be tempted. I don't want to be tempted. But sometimes we don't escape the problem because we keep looking for more temptations in that and we start craving it. Basically what that phrase is saying is that there's going to be stuff in front of you, but it's your job to basically turn away from it and do the right thing. Absolutely. And number four? Um, I need over I want. Mm. So I want... I want double stuffed Oreos for sure. I want a whole package of them, but I need God. Uh, And so that's what's more important. Yeah, and what I know is, is even eating healthy, it's a tough job and at age 49, it's no easier. And I know people say, he loves to eat beets and grass and fruits and this stuff and drink it and put put apple cider vinegar in it and it smells. And every time I drink it, you tell him, I, I drink it and I go, like that, all right? I know what I need to sustain my life and I know what I want. Sometimes I get what I want. Sometimes I'll eat a double stuffed Oreo cookie and it's delicious and nutritious. Okay, at least delicious. <laughs> and I pray for the nutritious. No shame in that. Always think about what you need over what you want. Temptations are never going to rarely ever be about what you need in life. It's what you want and desire. And that overtakes us and we no longer stay humble before God. And number five, When you say no to the temptation, you're actually saying yes to something so much bigger. So whenever you say no to the double stuffed Oreos, then you're actually saying yes to following God. Absolutely. Being a representative of Him. Being that representative because so often I see it in people Caitlin's age. They go, well, I want to go to the party. I want to be the life of the party. And I can't say no to to alcohol. I can't say no to drugs. I can't say no to those things. I don't want to be made fun of. Here's the reality for you right now. You have to look and say, what is more important, God's way or the world's way? My way or his way? Temptation or escape? And many people call me Goody Two Shoes, but... She does wear two shoes, though. I don't really get that. I mean, I don't understand why somebody's a Goody Two Shoes. I mean, like, were well, well, you not a... Oh, you're a baddie one shoe. <laughs> yeah, I'm I mean, what? 
Yeah, I mean, say that back to him next time. You a goody two shoe. Oh, well, you're a baddie one shoe. Oh, you're wearing two shoes too. Are you a goody two shoes then? <laughs> I don't understand that. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know where I was going. With it that. probably was wonderful and good. You'll have to catch it on it the next one. It was goody two shoes. Yes, okay. you'll get but... it on the next video. <laughs> okay. So. so, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Absolutely. Run, double, run. Run, double, run. You know what? Run to that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes when Heather's driving and we're going on vacation and you're back there asleep or doing on your game or something, sometimes I'll just look right out the front window like this. And then I'll start going, <laughs> like that. And, I, and I'm looking out the window and I'm going, look how fast. I'm running really, really fast like that. I'm running really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And know. we will see you guys <laughs> next time.